You could say it's been a lifelong journey of mine to build the quietest PC possible. My old TJ07 build used two radiators so that I could run my fans at just 600 RPM, and my current setup has the PC literally in a different room with a cable running through the wall. But that is both expensive and kind of a pain in the butt. What if there was another way? A way that looks super cool, but that may or may not be even more expensive and with even more butt pain. I'm gonna tell you about it, but first something that comes with no butt pain. The Be Quiet Dark Base 700 is a versatile case that features RGB lighting and a tempered glass side panel. Check it out in the link below to learn more. So this idea was actually pitched months ago in a writer's brainstorming meeting when, well, let's just say we got totally off topic discussing old computer hardware memes. But instead of making a case made of fans, we should do a case made of radiators. Right, and it should have no fans at all. Yes! Well, somehow, that made it onto the production calendar with the original plan actually being to basically, no, actually to exactly just jury rig together every radiator in the warehouse with some L brackets we had lying around and zip tie in a motherboard power supply and graphics card. That got canned pretty quickly and the project evolved into its second form, a bunch of radiators attached with L brackets and some metal mounting brackets for the internal hardware, courtesy of our friends with the machine shop that totally isn't the only reason we hang out with them after school, Protocase. Then by this point, if we're gonna get some custom mounting hardware, we might as well create our own frame for the radiators, right? Yeah, obviously. So it was off to Autodesk Inventor, where a bunch of time was spent measuring and mocking up the brackets required for our build, as well as for the case frame itself. We ended up with a shape that's actually sort of reminiscent of a PC case, but without front fascia, or side panels, or a bottom. I guess it is to a case, kind of what a go-kart frame is to a car. But these uh, feet that we got from MNPC Tech are pretty cool. And anyway, it's perfect for our purposes, since it is perfectly sized for EK's ultra-thick XE series radiators in the 360 millimeter variant. And then it's also got another spot on the back for the three by three 120 millimeter rad that we've had sitting around unused in the warehouse since 2013. For style points for this build, we went with hardline tubing using fittings for all of the bends, giving us a finished product that I wouldn't think would be beautiful to most people in like a traditional sense, but that has a raw industrial look to it that I personally absolutely love. And the real story here isn't beauty anyway, but rather pushing the limits of performance and cooling. So let's take a look then at the insane specs that we loaded it up with for testing. We started with 18 cores of pure Intel Core i9 power. Then we threw in 64 gigs of quad channel Sodium DDR4 from G-Skill, 64 gigs, and a whopping three by 960 gigs of NVMe SSD RAID 0 goodness. Though we actually ended up needing those high capacity drives for another project, but their 240 gig siblings look pretty much the same. Oh, and then we threw in a GTX 1080 because come on, what i9 rig doesn't have a bitchin' GPU? Finally, at the heart of all that, the way that we fit this much radiator power into this much space was ASRock's brand new X299E ITX with a custom bits power full cover block that thankfully replaces the uh, micro-sized VRM cooler on this puppy. Okay then, enough about that. How does it perform? We decided to test our creation a couple of different ways. First, with no fans in it at all, except for the one that was built into our Silverstone 800 watt modular SFXL power supply. And at idle, pfft, mission accomplished. 
our temps were near ambient with our pump handling all of these radiators like a champ. With that said, a system like this, when it's not doing anything, doesn't kick out a lot of heat. So we added a CPU load, measured the results, and ended up even more impressed. Even at this power level, we are easily dissipating all of the heat and keeping our processor at a safe temperature. But then, what about the graphics card? Ha, no problem. So I think at this point, it's safe to call the project a success. It should be noted that the fan in the power supply did spin up while gaming, adding to the noise already being made by our D5 pump, but thanks to the massive radiator surface area, this is still among the quietest systems we have ever encountered, even at full load. And perhaps the coolest thing about it is that by borrowing a page from the build that originally inspired it, we can take it, of course, to a completely new level. Now we weren't able to fit fans onto all of the radiator spots, but even running at a low RPM, we ended up with some seriously impressive cooling results. So then, conclusion I guess? If this was a product sent to us by a manufacturer asking for an objective review, what would we say? Well, in this exact configuration, we're looking at almost $1,200 worth of water cooling hardware. So we'd start by saying that you might want to think about saving a few bucks by using soft tubing at the very least. But we'd also say that you cannot question the performance of what is effectively an 18 by 120 millimeter radiator setup. And you can't question the fact that it not only ran passively, but also did so with performance that wasn't far off what you'd expect from decent aftermarket cooling systems. So it's not a great value, but it's definitely rad. <laughs> oh, that's awful. We have partnered with Tesoro to give away 10 limited edition Gram Spectrum keyboards modded by the people over at Modders Inc. Simply vote for your top three limited edition designs and be entered to win one of these keyboards. Who knows? Maybe the most popular design will be produced as a magnetic overlay for more people to enjoy as well on their Gram Spectrum keyboards. Also, if you purchase a Gram Spectrum keyboard through the link below, before the end of the holidays, you'll receive two magnetic overlays like this one to quickly and easily mod your keyboard without any hassle. So check it out and get more details at the link below. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy some of the stuff we featured today, like these fantastic radiators, that super sick motherboard at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one. Yep. When did that come up? Whatever. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.